Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and this one is a natural hair talk video um, just because it's been a year since I big chopped um, and I wanted to share with, you guys, share with you guys my experience and also since I posted my last video a few months ago about my natural hair I did get quite a few questions asking me what my regimen is and um, what I do to my hair to make it grow and stuff like that so I thought I'd just answer all of them in this video so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it informative um, and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe so yeah let's get into it um, my hair type is 4 c which is like really kinky really coily type of hair texture um, I will insert a clip not clip some pictures of my journey so far um, which is in my last video so you can have watch that as well if you want more background or in case I miss something out and I'm not too sure exactly what I talked about in that video to be honest but yeah so as far as my regimen I don't really have a regimen I would say um, I'm just going to talk you guys through what I do um, to my hair okay so I'm really lazy when it comes to washing my hair so literally I wash my hair every two to five weeks somewhere between that don't judge me guys literally I dread wash days because it just takes so long. When I take up out my braid pattern, I section my hair into four um, sections. So I spray some water on it and then I add maybe like a detangling conditioner or detangling cream or sometimes I just use plain water and then I just detangle it with a comb, with a wide tooth comb. Um, and then I leave the four sections or twist them up and then I wash each section as they are then I apply the conditioner to each section and then I detangle when the conditioner is in my hair then I put on a plastic cap then I would let the conditioner sit for somewhere between one hour and overnight um, just depends on how late I am or if I'm doing stuff around the house or how late it is to wash my hair out so yeah it just depends on all that kind of stuff but most times I will leave it in for about two hours, three hours um, before I wash washing it out so when I wash it out, I um, put it back in the four sections and I work in each section and I detangle it again and then I'll add some leave-in conditioner, some moisturiser which is always shea butter mixed with some oils and I just apply that to the hair and then I just plait it like in big doo-doo braids or whatever you call them and I just let it air dry until the next day and then I'll plait it for my braid pattern. And literally that's all I do to my hair I don't do anything special I don't wear my hair out very often um, at all um, I don't wanna what's that word I don't wanna what's that word what's that word I don't wanna manip manipulate I don't wanna manipulate my hair um, that much so I feel like the less I do to my hair the more it grows so yeah um, basically I will just wear my wigs and that's basically my protective style which is one thing I've learned the less I do to my head the more it grows so if you're looking to go natural I would suggest like um, le less manipulation like less combing brushing and stuff like that because it does break your hair I think anyway in my um, personal experience so yeah another thing is I don't use heat on my hair so I always 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 air dry I don't straighten my hair because I don't wear um, have leave out so I don't straighten my hair, I don't blow dry my hair, I don't do nothing to my hair. No heat, no low manipulation, no heat. That's definitely worked for me and helped me grow my hair and maintain the length that it's at. Ooh, another thing that I've learned with my hair is never comb it when it's dry. Oh my god, it takes it so much has hassle. Unless it's like you tangled. Like this I can just about comb. But like when I've just taken out my braids for my braid pattern or yeah I just I can't I always come when it's wet except for when I'm taking out my braids from air dry that's the only time I comb my hair when it's wet also I always use a wide tooth comb to comb my hair so um, some products I've been loving hands down I love shea butter um, my mum brought me back loads from Nigeria so what I did was I melted some in the microwave 
for like 30 seconds, put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and I melted it and then I um, mixed in a container obviously or tub whatever and then I added some oils to it and then I put it in the fridge and let it um, solidify and then I just use that as moisturizer on my hair when it's wet oh, and it helps to tangle my hair as well I love it and it's so 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 moisturizing so yeah the other thing I really love on my natural hair journey is the Carol's Daughter Carol's Daughter um, Black Vanilla Hair Smoothie and it's like a moisturizing deep conditioner it's amazing guys oh my god it gives your hair so much slip so easy to detangle I really really love it and I've run out of it that's otherwise I'll just show you guys I've run out of it and like every all the other products I tried all the moisturizing deep conditions haven't been the same so I definitely definitely need to repurchase that another thing I've been loving for my natural hair is the Kera Care Edge Tamer I used in my um, wig installation video um, and she's just had to slick down my edges and it does quite a good job I would say um, it doesn't leave any like flakes or nothing like that so I definitely definitely recommend that if you're looking for a really nice hair gel I've heard that the um, Gorilla Snot Gel <laughs> is supposed to be really good so I need to get my hands on that to try that as well. But yeah, I don't really have um, that much favourite products because I'm still like chopping and changing, trying to find things that work but yeah, I, it, literally if I don't like something I'm just going to like, okay, dash it to the side type of person. I love trying new products. Um, I am quite a product junkie, I'm not going to lie. So do let me know what you got some of your favorite products are for natural hair and I'll definitely try those out I actually prefer having natural hair to relaxed hair I feel like my growth has been more if and I was still doing basically the same things if not more to my relaxed hair I would wash it every two weeks literally I wouldn't go longer than two weeks to wash my hair sometimes I used to wash it weekly um, I'll deep condition it, I'll air dry, I do all that kind of stuff to it. But my hair was still thin, limp, and all that. No, I wasn't really feeling it. So, but with my natural hair, I have seen really, 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 really good results from um, wearing wigs, no heat, and just following washing and deep conditioning every single time, and air drying. So yeah, that's basically everything. To be honest, um, I haven't really got, got much to say. <laughs> on this but if you have any more questions or anything else you want to know about my natural hair and I'll answer those for you guys so thank you guys for watching and yeah I'll talk to you guys in the next video don't forget to rate comment and subscribe as well so yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.